This is the Fieldhouse, the home of your Lynn Tech Tigers. And tonight they'll be facing the Lexington Minutemen. In the words of the late, great Keith Jackson. Ho, oh, ho, Nelly. We got ourselves a bond, brother. I'm New Brad Torbri on the home here today. It is buzzing. Happy New Year 2019. New Year, new me. New Year, new me. I'm all fired up. Press box is fired up. Karen people are fired up. Bench is fired up. Let's get ready to rock. Let's start the, let's start the new year with a bang right here. Pump up the volume. Whoa. 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 It looks like no one knew what side of the basket that was, they were going. They didn't know what side. Come on, guys. It's 2019. Let's go here. Pump up the volume. Lexington Miniman is in maroon, and your Tech Tigers are in white. Look, that lot special guest here to join us throughout the whole game. Very excited about it. Charlotte Jackson, Michaela Lawrence, Neil Majuma, Jeffrey, and Ayana. I'm sorry, uh, Ari Ayana is your starting five for the Tigers. And two free throws right here for Montimes. Free throws, no good. We have a lot of special guests here today joining us in the press box. Very excited about that. Nothing but the best here in Tigerland. Nothing but the best here in Tigerland. Free throw. No good. Offensive board, though, puts it up. No good. Well, Chance, we want to wish a uh, happy belated birthday to Justin Barrasso, JV head coach. Did a fantastic job with the team earlier in this game. Had a convincing victory. In and out. Both teams right here are at zero points. Just under, just a minute gone into the game. Want to just give a kudos to the Lynn Tech Staff doing a great job during the Boverini basketball tournament. Puts it up. And it's a traveling violation during the Boverini basketball tournament. Just down in my job by, um, by everyone. Um, you doing a great job. A very smooth tournament. I thought um, everyone did a great job. So this cool to everybody. I mean, really, Lintec, um really put their best foot forward and improved that, you know, um, we're, we're, the, we're the best in the city here. Shyla. It looks like Alondra may come into the game today. I believe she's suited up. And the inside, Michaela to the bucket. Puts it in for two. It's a turnover, so Tigers will get possession. We have a lot of special guests here today. Swings it to Ari. In the inside, Ari puts it up, gets fouled, shoots the line for two free throws. Tech Tigers really definitely put out good effort during the Bolverini basketball tournament. Came up a little short, but um, I thought they, they hustled, did a really good job, and, and, and really playing tough. I want to congratulate St. Mary's for winning the city championship for both girls and boys for the Bolverini basketball tournament. I'm, I'm talking about it was like 2,000 people here, packed house. Kudos to John Hoffman and, uh, and our crew doing, uh, doing a great job. John Hoffman, this legend. Great job on um, eight games. Our camera person, Carolina, eight games. Just a straight soldier. Just eight games, you know, no break. 
on fire. So kudos to her. Great job. We have some special guests here joining us in a little bit, so we'll uh, we'll find out who it is. Six to nothing. Check that six to two as Miniman draws first blood over here and, and, and gets a bucket on their own. Shyla. We got some special guests joining us in a little bit. We'll find out who it is. A lot of special guests here today. Oh my God. Oh my God, look what we have here today. Wow, oh my God, oh my God. Who just joined us here in the press box? Jeez Louise, man, I'm feeling lucky today. We got we got the big ballers here. For three, no good. We got uh we got Mr. Nine to Five Wallace. <laughs> and uh now now how'd you get the name? I always call you Nine to Five Wallace, but I, I was like, man, newbie, what the hell does that mean, Nine to Five Wallace? What does that mean? What what, is, what does that mean? Why 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 did I give you the name Nine to Five Wallace for? You know, cause you know you saw me always working down low, and I'm always going to work nine to five every day. Speaking of work. Jackson's putting some work right there with a three-point shot. Um, so speaking of work, it looks like 95 Wallace is out of commission. Yeah. He took a little break. <laughs> oh, no, man. 95 Wallace took a little vacation. When are you coming back? Um, I come back Friday. I'm playing Friday against Low. Okay, Low better watch out. We got big problems here. And we got big time over here. I'm, not, I, I'm actually surprised I can talk to him because normally I got to talk to his people. To talk to his people, I got to talk to his agent. And then maybe I can get in contact with Amari. He's big time now. He made the front page of the, news. He made front page of the newspaper. He thinks he's big time now. So I can't even talk to him no more. So can I talk to Amari? Am I allowed to do that? Yeah, you can talk okay, to Amari. Okay, cool. He's good now. All right. Uh, Amari, yeah. listen. Front page of the newspaper, man. He's doing big things, man. It was a good article. Um, I mean, that's got to be a good feeling for you. Yeah, it feels really good. Um, uh, for myself and for my school because it feels good to definitely put my school on, put us on the map and show us like support like we're here too because most of the other little schools get a lot of credit for what they do. So it definitely feels good to have my part in it and have myself in it. So it felt really good. Right, right, right. Definitely. Hey, listen, you guys, um, first time Lynn Tech hosted um, in three years, hosted the Wolverine Basketball Tournament, it rotates every three years. Um, you guys came up short, but um, definitely a cool experience. I mean, having a packed house, I mean, that, that's going to be a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah it, was. it was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because it only comes one time for you, so you get one shot at your home court. So it's definitely good to see the, the stands packed and everyone cheering for you, so it felt good. So 10-2, Tigers up by 8 here, first quarter action, 4-11 left in the, in the in the first quarter. So what, what, what should we expect for um, this team going forward? What's your record? Uh, two and three. Two and three. What do what, what do we start going forward? I mean, I, I think um, yeah, I, th I think you guys are playing hard. You know, just come up short on on, on a few different times. But um, I feel like I feel like there's gonna be a run in you guys. Yeah, definitely. Um, if we just right now we got rid of everything. You know, the Boberini's over. We got rid of the cancer that was messing with our team and stuff. And right now, being practice has been going good. We're more confident, and we're gonna go on a 14-0 run. Okay, all right, you heard it here first. Okay, when news breaks, we break it. He said 14 all run. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Amarion, um, what do we expect for the, for the rest of the season as a point guard? Um, definitely setting the tempo of the game. I'm controlling it, helping my teammates, making sure they're in the spots they're supposed to be, like encouraging them. Any little thing, basically just spacing out the floor, running the show. Like, I'm the guy that needs all the attention at the moment when I cut to touch the ball. My teammates rely on me to help them to step up to show energy, to have faith in them, because I'm the one that's passing to them at the end of the day. I decide who gets the ball, who doesn't, pretty much. So uh, my teammates are definitely looking for me to lead them to the right direction. You know, it's definitely, um, that, that's, that's, I think that's one of the toughest positions to play in sports is, is quarterback and point guard. Yeah, you know, because basically a, a point guard is a quarterback of, of the court, you know, kind of manager. So I, I think you're doing a good job at it, and I think you're only going to get better. Thank so, you, so um, I'm excited about the season. Um, I can't wait. I know. I I know you guys are gonna be in the playoffs, and yeah. no better no no better thing than the high school playoff basketball. You guys yeah. had a little taste of it um, last year. Was it two, last two years too, right? Yeah, yeah. Newburyport. <laughs> that game, man. 
I mean, that's got to leave a sour taste in your mouth right there. I mean, losing that game so close, but what an yeah. atmosphere, though. Yeah, it's definitely tough to play in there. They have a little crooked gym. Um, their fans are definitely loud. They let you hear it. Free throws are crazy because they're right in front of you, yelling, screaming. So it's definitely a crazy environment there. Especially shooting free throws. Yes. They all line up right at the front, yeah. right at the line. They let you mass know. They though. let you hear it. But no, no better. No. What, what, let me make you a question. What's better? Is it a, a road win? Packed house or a home victory packed house? What, 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 what's a better feeling? The home, definitely. I like the home games, but it feels way better when you silence a crowd and when like they're booing you and you're just scoring and you shut them up with that, with you scoring and not even talking to them. And then, like you, make the, you, then you make the LeBron James mean yep. face. You do that all yep. the time. To that's them, the best feeling. That's a better feeling, but I like the home dub better. Yeah. Listen, I, I mean, the, my highest level of basketball was fifth grade YMCA, which I dominated. <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100. <laughs> I dominated. I'm, I'm, just, yo, I'm telling him, what, what? listen, I was getting 10 points and 10 boards. Okay, like, okay. solid. Okay. Kendrick Perkins on steroids. I was doing good. <laughs> He's hooping on him. Good living. Good living, man. I was doing good. <laughs> and then, you know, I had, a, you know, the injury. Yeah. The ah, knee injury, yeah. Man. The knee injury. Seems to happen to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I unfortunately couldn't dominate like I, I, like, like, like I wanted to. Ten to three. Um, but I've always said it, you know, if a, if a player had my mentality, <laughs> they'd be like Michael Jordan. Mm, wow. You know, mm. I've always said so. But, hey, you know, everything happens for a reason. But anyway, guys, I just want to say I'm proud of you guys, really. You know, you guys are Appreciate not it. just – doing good work on the court but most importantly off the court you guys really represent the school well you guys are dominating i can't wait to see what you guys are going to do in the future i know it's going to be good things okay Thank so you. um come back come back in the second half listen real quick um how do you see this game happening right now it's 12 to 3 lady tigers are doing really well right now majuma this is the bucket but um, what, do you, what do you see happening in this game um it looks like the girls are going to pull it through as long as they keep doing what they're doing moving the ball they got this done for sure yeah, um, I see them. They're hitting their shots. They're playing really good defense right now. They're talking, as you can see. Hands are out, focused. Everyone's doing good. As long as they keep doing that, they'll be fine. Absolutely. And we have um, Alondra back in the realm of things. So everyone's going to be excited to see her. That's going to yeah. be a, a, a big pickup for the Tigers. So I want to see both teams in the playoffs. And I'm going I'm to I'm call out the fans right now. I know the fans are listening. Yeah. We got to pack the gym. Yeah. We got to pack the gym. We got to support. We got to support you guys. Um, we got to pack the gym every night, you know. We got to have an atmosphere like we had at Bovary. If that can happen, that means it can happen every yeah. time. You Definitely. know, it can happen every time. Like, you remember that Chelsea game on oh. the road? Oh, man, that was a good time. That was a, that was a good crazy one. time. So, the whole pack with Jim sweating. Hopefully, if there's not a game, a, 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 a girls game here, we can go on the road and cover that game. Yeah. No, 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 no better feeling as an announcer. It should be the loudest one there, chanting <laughs> for the road team. <laughs> And everyone just gives you a look. Definitely. Like, yeah. like, like during the Super Bowl, <laughs> when uh, during the Super Bowl when the Tigers defeated, I forgot the team that they beat last year. It was like 50 to something. Oh, in the Shoulder Valley. And we were really loud. Yeah. We were really like we were on the roadside. They didn't like that too much. You know, so <laughs> it, it's a good one. But, you know, I don't want to be too loud. I don't want, like, my tires to be slashed after the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get too crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> but after the game, I just hurry up and run. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys. You guys doing good stuff. Thank Come you. back. You're always welcome here in the booth. Amari's in TV media, so he's always here all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, don't see, I don't see a lot of Rob, so maybe Rob you can come back. Yeah, Amari, I got I mean, you. I see him every day, so <laughs> whatever. But, um, that's, but, you know, appreciate you guys, and, uh, and good luck. Thank good you. luck. Thank you. All right. Hey, to the viewers watching, come support us. One tech, you know where we at. Facts. Come support my 1,000 points. <laughs> Y'all better do that. So those are our special guests right there. I mean, big timers right there. They're going to go back and sign their autographs. They got a whole crowd waiting for them. So they have to sign the autographs. Um, so you know, we were able to, we were blessed with their time for a few minutes. Anyway, score 12 to 3. Is it the end of the first quarter? We're having so much, we're having such a good time. I don't know if they're in the first quarter or not. It's a timeout. It's a timeout, 12 to 3. Um, Tech Tigers doing a great job right here. We're having a lot of special guests here. Very excited here in the press box. We got an updated press box. Um, everyone's all fired up here, so we're ready to rock and roll.
Good hustle right there by Neo. Fighting for the ball. And it's going to be a jump ball, looks like. The position now is towards... Towards the Tigers. 52 seconds left. In the first quarter, score is 12 to 3. Neo launches just off the mark. Nice hands right there by Michaela. Ripped away by Ari. Good hustle by her. Shot clock's turned off. Possession now is towards Lexington. Launches. Wide right. Launches, no good. Town the shot clock. Another shot, no good. Offensive board rejected. Ari picks it up, and it's going to be a foul. Three, three, three. And they're going to take out a bounce. Fouls on the floor, not during the act of shooting. Score 12 to 3. Tigers up by 9. Ari launches for three at the buzzer. Boom, yeah! 15 to three. Great way to end the quarter right there. So throughout the game here, we'll have a lot of special guests joining us. We, we had Amari Gaston and, and, and Robert Wallace joining us here. 15 to three, Tigers up by 12 points. Good basketball play by the Tigers, moving the ball around, being aggressive defensively and offensively. So start the second quarter here. And Lexington will take the ball out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover. And Tigers will get the ball here. Neil launches three. Back iron. Great job by Ari. Diving for the board. Everyone diving to the ground. Looks like a football game. Tackled at the two. Sees the three, launches, boom, yeah, put up. 15 to six. Zone defense we play right here. Michaela, little 12 footer puts it in. Ari's been on the ground a few times here. Really yeoman's effort diving for the ball. And I think the, the, the floor is a little slippery, though. Everyone's actually taking a spill and sliding around. So floor might be a little slippery here. Seventeen to six. Tigers up here. In and out, and then back in. Rattles in. Number two, Torres comes into the game for the Tigers. Adriana Torres. Second free throw is good. Come on, 
Oh, what a move by Michaela right there. Ripped away, though. Good aggressive move. Here comes Minutemen on the run. One on two. Puts it up. And in. Good aggressive move right there like a bulldozer. Cross-court pass in the inside. Puts it up. No good. Everyone dying for the ground. Ripped away by Michaela. And she'll be in line for two free throws. Crack <laughs> iron. It was good. Score 8 to 10. Tigers apply a little bit of a press here. And kind of backing off of it now. Stolen by Ari. Ari coast to coast. And gets fouled. Shoot at the line for two free throws. Oh, offensive foul. Oh, you got to be kidding me. In the inside, puts it up, no good. Good defense by Michaela, good closeout defense. In trouble, takes it back outside though. Goes right to the rack, and in. Timeout called, six point game. Good timeout right there by coach. Just trying to uh, say, hey guys, you know, we're letting a few points get off here. Head coach Wessler. Eighteen and twelve. And Tigers up, and they've been up throughout this whole game, really. A little bit. It's going to be time for our trivia question. We're going to reveal that trivia question before the end of the first half, and we'll give the answer in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Neil bring the ball up court. Adriana in trouble. Needs to swing the ball. In the inside of Michaela. Michaela can't get a handle on it. Goes out of bounds and it's going to be Tiger's ball. Shyla Action Jackson comes back into the game. Replacing Torres. So they're going to say that was during. It is a penalty. So I believe this is a one-on-one -on -one situation. Let's see what the referee calls here. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation, looks like. Makes him the first free throw. Tigers down the penalty with. Miniman has 17 fouls. Scored 19 to 12. 504 left in the first half. Tigers up by seven. Free throws no good. McKellen puts it back up and make another free trip to the line.
super excited that Edwin Gonzalez has made an appearance in the building. He's going. He's a part of our. We have a, a segment called Edwin's Coaching Corner, which I'm very excited about. That that's going to happen in the third quarter. Edwin has came into the building. So we're very excited during the third quarter. Edwin Gonzalez will join us in Edwin's coaching corner. And I tell you what, Majuma's on fire right now. Someone get a fire extinguisher. Because she's lighting up the place right now. Stolen again. Michaela out to Jackson. Zone defense here. They got to attack this zone. They got to attack it. Majuma launches for three. Why not? No good. Baseball pass wide open on the other side. Puts it up. No good. Referees end them play a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Where's the travel? You need a passport to travel that much. Dear Lord. Puts it up. No good. Offensive board. Can we get a fuck? Can we? Unbelievable. A travel, something, call something, anything, ref, anything, blow the whistle. That was an over the back, a travel, and. and a jump ball, yeah, Tigers get the ball. Jackson, swing to Majuma. Majuma, why not? Launches three. Twenty-one twelve. Tigers put on a press here with three twenty-eight left in the first half. Puts it up, no good. Lawrence with the board. Tigers have numbers here if they push it. Baseball pass, a little too much mustard on it though, goes out of bounds. Jackson, dangerous pass. Michaela in the post. Michaela is called for a traveling violation. Tigers got to attack this press, though. They got to attack it. 21 to 12. Tigers up by nine. In the inside, wide open, no good. Jackson fighting for the board. And she takes a spill. And she walks it off. She says, I'm fine. Get off me. I'm fine. I'm fine. Jump ball. And uh, Shiloh will uh, bring the ball up court. Chopper, no good. <laughs> Launches. Ari fighting for the board. 
Pass up to Jafferty. Wide open layup. Gets fouled. Should be glad for two free throws. 2.04 left in the first half. Jumper, front rims it. So this leads us to our trivia question, which everyone's excited about. The Boston Celtics and Los Angeles Lakers are known as the most winningest franchises of all time. Boston has a total of 17 championships. The Lakers have a total of 16 championships. Who's number three? I'm gonna repeat that. The two winningest franchises in history are the Boston Celtics and Los Angeles Lakers. Celtics have 17 overall championships. Lakers have 16. Who's number three? All-time winning his team in terms of championships. Boston has 17. Lakers have 16. Who is number three? More we'll of that answer in the beginning of the fourth quarter. 140 left in the first half. Eight-point game, 22-14. to 14. Tigers up, and they've been up comfortably throughout this whole game. We've taken control. Well, I remind you, in the third quarter, we're going to have Edwin Gonzalez joining us in Edwin's coaching corner. Launches for three, sees the three, bees the three, is one with the three. Are oh, they going to call that a two? So let's go 24 to 14. Looks like that was a two, not a three. Offensive board, and you will wave it. Two free throws and Tigers down on the penalty. Check that. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation. Puts it up. Count it in the foul. Good job by Cameron Montimes. Free throw's good. Yeah, they're gonna say she stepped out of bounds. the everything <laughs> just off the mark 24 17 Majuma launches no good Puts it up and it's going to be a going to go out of bounds. He'll take it from under the basket with 28 seconds left. Traveling violation. Shot clock turning off. Seven point game. 26 seconds left in the first half. Ari launches, and no falls caught after the three. She got pummeled there. And Michaela will shoot the 
We'll shoot two jumpers here. Jumper is good. Tries to go down baseline and a foul is caught and Cruz can't believe it. She's not a happy camper right now. Rims out. Jumper is good. Seven point game. I tell you what, Lexus doing a good job hanging around here. It was a 15 point game, but there looks like it's going to be a blow up, but they, they hold on strong here. Three seconds left. Two launches for three. In, in. But did she call glass? She said, Rat I called game. I didn't call glass. 28 to 18, 10 point game going to halftime. Wow. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Get your pop, 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 popcorn out. Because we're in for a show in the second half. And welcome back here. Third quarter action. Tigers up by 10, 28 to 18. Just on the way here. I'm Nubu Ratto. I'm joined with the, the, the man, the myth, the legend. We, we got him. He was signing so many autographs. I didn't think he was going to find I think we were going to find him today. There's a whole crowd waiting for him signing autographs. But we finally got him. Um, Edwin Gonzalez, his annual coaching with Edwin segment. Edwin, it's an honor. Yeah, I'm here. Edwin, how do you do it? Um, how do I do it? Yeah, how do you do it? You know, you just have to pay attention and be there. You know, <laughs> all, um, half of it is just talent, raw talent. Yeah. You know, then you have to, you know, work hard for it. You know, skill. You know, a little bit comes into that. But, yeah, everything is talent. So, Edwin, um, at halftime, um, Tiger's up by 10 going, going to the half right now. So, if you're a coach right now, this is Edwin's coaching corner. Yeah. Tiger's up by 10. What are you telling your team now to... to Continue this lead and get the game uh, into the victory, yeah. into the victory box. What would I tell them? Yeah, I tell them to um, keep working hard because I see them working hard, and don't be intimidated because I seen a fall. I seen a fall in the second quarter where they were a little rough. So don't be intimidated and keep working hard. That's good stuff right there. That's good stuff. So um, it seems to me like. The Tigers, they're up by 10. It seems like they're up by 20. Yeah. You know, I feel like they have control of the game. If you're a minute man, three-point shot right there. Boom, yow. Yeah. Number 32. Is that three or two? That's a two. We'll see how a two. Foot was yeah, on the line. Two. But, um, Edwin, if you're the coach of Lexington, what are you telling your players during the locker room? Um, I tell them to, like, the game's not over. We still might have a chance. So we, could, we just have to keep fighting, like, no matter what, and just keep – Keep going. Cool, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, so, right now, uh, Tigers are up right now, and and and, and we we've, we've talked about being on the other side, yeah, um, of the coin of losing right now. Mm -hmm. Is is it possible to get too confident and kind of just ease up on on, on on the brakes a little bit when you're up by this much? Yeah. How do you stay focused? Yeah, like I was asking um, a couple of people back there, um, like how did they like. What did they think of the game? And they were saying that someone actually told me that the girls were slacking a little. Mm. And that now that you said that, I feel like that is happening. Like they're getting too confident. They're like like slacking a little. But I don't, I'm not sure. That might just be me. And that's sometimes that's a natural feeling. I mean, a lot yeah. of times when you're up by them that much, I mean, it, it's it's sometimes natural just to kind of ease up a little bit. It's hard to keep, to yeah. keep that focus. And, and, and to gotta kind of go forward. Yeah. What goes into the off season, Edwin, to training for, for uh, yeah, that's his phone. He ring. <laughs> Listen, that's his agent right there. The phone just rang. Yeah. The, the guy is so popular right now. You should see the line behind us waiting for the autographs. Yeah, it's I incredible. have a lot of fans. A, lot of, a fans. lot of fans. A lot of fans. But what goes into training during the off season? During the off season. To to, to get ready for a season because, I mean, I know you don't play basketball, but yeah. I mean, you played it obviously for fun, yeah. right? Yeah. 
I mean, it's a lot of running up and down. It's a lot of cardio. What goes into training during the offseason for you can be ready for 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 uh, for the season? Yeah, it goes. Um, obviously, effort. That's something you cannot coach. That's something you have to put in and your teammates, and you have to like be around them too to like make a bond. Mm. Because if there's like no bond, you guys are just playing like that. You guys won't really understand each other, and that might mess up the culture. We'll we'll have individual players instead mm. of a team. Okay. And that's not what you want. You want a team, not individual players. Yeah, yeah. That, that's definitely big right there. Uh, I think team chemistry is huge. I mean, yeah. you know, that's a good point. The, the Boston Celtics are struggling right now. Mm-hmm. And um, I was listening to the radio. I think the Celtics are struggling not because they don't have the talent. I don't mean, it's the, the, the chemistry is there. Yeah. And, that, and that's everything. I mean, have, have you seen that in football? How is your team chemistry in football? Um, my team, uh, we had we have a we had chemistry. Yeah, I mean there was a few ups and downs between us. You know we had a, um, a couple of selfish players, not really, but so players that just met, made mentally mistakes, and that's okay. But we fix it through time, and we managed to get through the losses and wins and all that stuff. How did, now, does this ups and downs? I'm glad he mentioned that. And the Tigers right now are going through some down times um, in terms of you know they lost two. Um, tough games in the Bovarini basketball tournament. Yeah. And scored 31 to 18 still. But, um, you know, h- how do you get through those tough times in the season? Because the season's long. Yeah. It's a long season. And you're going to, just, just by n- nature, I mean, I teach, right? Mm-hmm. And sometimes you have good days and bad days. But, yeah. the, but the year is so long. How do you fight through that as an athlete? Because you know you're going to run this. You know you're going to lose three, four, might yeah. be four games in a row. Yeah. You might win five games in a row. How do you, how do you fight through those downtimes? You have to ask yourself, our, um, well, our coach really made us ask ourselves, how do we get over it? Wow. That's the question. That's the real question. How do you get over it? And if there's a, like a bad player or a loss, how do I get over it? I, I, I don't focus on that. I focus on the next play and the next run the next drive the next down everything you can't just dwell in the dwell in the past you have to shake it off and have short-term memory when it's thing when it comes to things like that because not everything's gonna be the same like everything's gonna change you never we're not like always gonna be losing you know we, like this change gonna be made if you work hard wow 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 that's that's definitely big listen edwin that's what we have you on here for i mean mm-hmm. we don't get this type of knowledge for anybody i mean listen i don't i don't play sports i don't know what the heck i'm talking about mm-hmm. i just act like i do we're gonna take a little selfie right here ready we're gonna take a selfie right now Listen, we, we take selfies and everything. It's crazy. We're here. We're, we're here. We're right here. We live. We right we're here. here. Yeah, we right here. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, 31 to 18. Tigers up by 13. Is Michaela. Ball stolen. Did you go to the Bovarini basketball tournament, Edwin? Did I go to the to the basketball tournament? The Bovarini uh, Bovarini tournament? No. Listen, it was it was packed. It was, you know, when we had those pep rallies at the yeah, school. Yeah. That's how packed it was. Mm. On both sides. I mean, it was such a cool atmosphere to be a part of. It was, uh, it was super cool. Was there a lot of tension between the teams? And like, yeah, there's some tension, but you know what? That's what happens in sports. You yeah. get tension, but like, like anything in sports, how do you get over it? Right? Yeah. I mean, it's natural. You don't want to lose. No one wants to lose. Yeah, nobody wants to lose. Listen, if you want to lose, then I don't want to play with you. Yeah, you right? shouldn't even be in the team if you want to lose. So, you know, people get upset, but how do you, how do you get over it? How do you compose yourself? Mm-hmm. And, you know... And then, you know, I, how do you go on to the next game? How yeah. do you go on to the next game? Um, yeah. Evan, before we let you go, I just want to talk to you. Um, are you still playing track? Yeah, I'm still I'll doing track. What, did you see that play by Ari right there? Yeah. Like a bully taking candy away from a little baby it's right there. Hard work showing off. Right to the paint, creating contact. That should have been in one, too. Should have been in one. But 31, excuse me, 33 to 18, 15-point game. How's the, uh, how's the track season coming along? And I know you play football, but you're also a track star. Yeah. So how's that coming along? Um, the track team, we're good. Um, we actually, the break, the break did a little bit of damage to us because we really, we really didn't work out as much. So yeah, now too, we have to get back on Too much, too on much food out. over the break? Yeah, yeah, too much food, too much laziness, too much going, like staying up late, too much of that, all that stuff. And that really damaged us a little. And we really worked hard today to like make sure that that doesn't really like keep us down. Right, right. That's that's huge right there. You know, it's funny. I remember um, I uh, in junior high. What a bounce pass to Cruz! Oh, what a play right there! Da-da-da, da-da-da. ESPN top ten. Birdman, Birdman. 
What a play. Oh. I forgot what I was saying, Edwin. What was I talking about? Um. So anyway, oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> there was um. So I, I had basketball um tryouts in junior high. Yeah. Stolen by Cruz again. Puts it up. Foul. I had basketball tryouts in uh, junior high, middle school, mm -hmm. and there was the day after Thanksgiving. And I ate so much, obviously, for Thanksgiving. During trials, we were running the suicide drills. We all know the suicide drills. Yeah. I threw up. Uh -huh. I threw up all that turkey and stuff, and it made a big comeback. Mm. Needless to say, I didn't make the team. <laughs> but, um, so, the, I mean, it's tough to play after these holidays sometimes. Yeah, like, that happens. Like, the first time I came to Tech and I worked out with the, with the team, the first few days I threw up because, like, that just, like, never worked out the muscles. They made me work out. Right. And now I'm better at it than I was before. Now, nah, like, I appreciate what Coach Run has put, him, like, has put me through because it really made me, like, a better person and a better football player and a player in general. And yeah, well, well, Coach Run, I mean, Coach Run is a legend in the yeah. community right now. Yeah. He's, uh, he's going to do a lot of good things. I see him as a, a staple. I mean, yeah, he's, he's relatively a young guy doing good work, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm excited about the, the future of, uh, of Lynn Tech football. Yeah, I'm uh, excited too. So going to your senior year, it's big. I mean, how you yeah. feeling about going to your senior year and playing football? For my senior year, I expect a lot out of me, so I'm really going to have to work out during the summer. I'm really going to have to work out and get bigger and stronger and faster. So I made the, be I made the best out of my season. Like, I'm going to try to go for a ring. And like just like do the best I can. Yeah, one go out, go out with the ring. I mean, yeah. what a way to go out. That's what happened last year. Yeah, with with the Tech Tigers, so definitely good stuff. Edwin, I mean that that's it for Edwin's uh, coaching corner. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you're always welcome back. I think I think this is probably the most in watched segment in Lynn um, TV history. I mean, really, I can't think of any other segment that's more watched than this one. Yeah, like the third quarter. We're just famous. I mean, I'm not famous. I'm nothing. I'm a nobody. <laughs> I'm, I'm famous when I'm, not, when I'm next to you. I'm, we're just going to, you know, wherever you are, I'm going to hang around and, you know, just live off your 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to hold you back. I know you got yeah. a big line yeah. of people asking for your autographs. Yeah. So, uh, you know, leave us small people by ourselves. So, uh, everyone, appreciate you. Seriously, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you from where you were sophomore year and, and developed your skill and talent, your maturity. You're doing good work. Um, and, uh, and, and, and keep doing good stuff. We'll see you next game for Edwin's Coaching Corner. Thank you. That's it right there. Edwin Gonzalez's Coaching Corner. Wow. I mean, you want to talk about student athlete right there. This guy just gets it. I mean, one rock star, really, one rock star after another. Amari Gaston, Rob Wallace, Edwin Gonzalez. I mean, who's next? I mean, like Jesus? <laughs> how do you top that one? How do you top that interview? Claire, how do you top that interview? How do you top that interview? I mean, Jesus is next, right? I mean, like, is it, is it Jesus next? I have to interview Jesus. <laughs> we have, we have to, can we shut it down? We might have to shut it down. I mean, how do we top that? Do we have to play the fourth quarter? Should we play, should we play the fourth quarter? I don't know. 35-21. 4-3. That's how you top it right there. 38-21. Tigers up comfortably right now by 17. Sanchez comes to the game for the first time this season and, um, and works out to see her back. Excellent, excellent football player. Two-sport two athlete and also a dancer on ITM. Two free throws right here. Juma, the defense right there by the Minutemen. 142 left in the third quarter.
Sanchez puts it in for two. Puts it up, it's foul. So Tigers right now definitely um putting the you know the pedal to the metal here as Coach uh, Edwin was talking about. Got to continue to stay focused, and they've done that. It's almost as if they're listening to us. Looks like we're on the same page here. Forty to twenty-two. One ten left in the third quarter. Tigers up by 18. Should be a five second violation right there. That was a long five second count. Stolen by Sanchez. Uh, a little too much mustard on that pass right there. Ball goes out of bounds. I'll tell you what, great team effort by everyone here um, in Tigerland. I mean, everyone's kind of pitching in. Everyone's doing a good job. Um, this is a big win. I like to think Tigers will hold on to this up by 18 going into the fourth quarter. This is going to be a big win for their momentum. I'm really happy for the Tigers because um, they've been working hard. And to get a win under their belt is huge. For three, back iron. Sanchez, offensive board, no. Fighting for the board, and he takes a spill. What's the call here? And let me shoot sure free throws from here on in. It's a, it's a double bonus, so two automatic free throws. Free throw, no good. Baseball pass. Sanchez in the post, puts it up, and one! Counting in the foul. Good to have Alondra Sanchez back. Free throws, no good. And after three quarters, Tigers up comfortably here by 20. Nearly doubled their lead going to the fourth quarter. So Tigers definitely uh, put.
putting the pedal to the metal here. Great job by them just staying focused. Um, looks like they will win this game. So the answer to the trivia question, trivia question I repeated was as follow. Who is the third winningest franchise in NBA history? We all know the Celtics and Lakers are, you know, cream of the crop in terms of, of basketball. Celtics are lead with 18 and Lakers have 17. Who's number three? Well, ladies and gentlemen, a little controversy to that. Number three is the Chicago Bulls. However, what's tied is the Golden State Warriors because the Warriors were not always the Warriors. They were a franchise tied to Philadelphia, according to newbie research team. So that has changed things. But I'm going to make an executive decision. And the newbie research team is going to award that to the Chicago Bulls. The Chicago Bulls, the winningest, third winningest franchise in, the M in NBA history with six championships behind the Celtics and Lakers. Now, here's the kicker. All six of those championships were within 10 years. Those were during the Jordan years. So, if you want to talk about sheer dominance, you got to go Lakers, Celtics, and number three, San Antonio Spurs in terms of dominance for long periods of time. But the Bulls' dominance was a great time. But it was only for a short period of time. That leads me to my next thing. The Chicago Bulls will be releasing a 10-part documentary series on ESPN that's premiering in 2020. Similar to uh, the O.J. Simpson documentary that ESPN released a 10-part series. They're going to release a 10-part series on the Chicago Bulls. Obviously a lot better story than that. <laughs> I mean, but um, the, kind of the same concept, 10-part series. The last 10-part series that ESPN released got nominated for a record 22 Emmy Awards. Well, I just watch out the, the fantastic Dream Team crew, Carlito and Joanna, always doing a great job on camera. I want to give a shout out to Amari Gaston and Rob Wallace joining us in the broadcast booth. We'll give a shout out to Edwin in his coaching corner. He comes every third quarter when we're right here. Um, everyone's excited about Edwin's coaching corner. It's getting more and more buzz as the games go on. So everyone's excited about that. Stolen right back up and called for a backcourt violation right there. And Lawrence gets called for a traveling violation right there. Wide open. Good closeout defense, so puts it up. No good. Little floater. No good. 
And then we're fighting for the ball here. A little helter skelter. Takes it back outside for a little 10 foot jumper. No good. Five twenty seven left. Free throw back iron. Second free throw. No good. Timeout called here by the Tech Tigers. Look okay, a shout out to the um, to the scoreboard cable. Sco scoreboard table doing a great job DJing and. Uh, Doing all, all sorts of crazy stuff over there. They are out of control at the scorer's table. Out of control. They need to be stopped. Next boys game will be next Monday. Check that. Newbie Research Team is going to look into that. I may be incorrect on that. Next boys game will be at Greater Low on Friday. Next home game will be Monday. So that is correct. Next game will be Friday. And the next home game will be next Monday. Next girls game We'll be at Neshoba on the 4th. And next time they're going to be home, it's going to be the 11th. So uh, timeout called. Five minutes left in the game. Tigers up by 15. Still a lot of time left. Still a lot of time. Tigers still got to play strong here and, and, you know, and get this victory. I want to give a shout out to the trainer. I had a little paper cut before the game. And... Uh, I was unable to announce until the trainer gave me a band-aid and I felt like a new person. So I'm going to shout out to, uh, to the trainer. Good shout out to Joanna. Do a great job on camera. Can she hear me? Great job, Joanna. Uh, Carlito and Angela. Great job. All the fans here. Great job. All fired up here. Everyone's all fired up. Edwin's still here. He's still signing autographs in the in the. Uh, Edwin's still signing autographs. So he tried to leave, but there's a whole a crowd packing Edwin for autographs as uh, Edwin's coaching corner just gone viral. Speaking of viral, I got to tell you guys a funny story. So I go to a uh, Jubilee Christian Church in Boston. There's a campus in Brockton, Boston and Brockton. Um, <laughs> and then. Uh, so I'm at church and my uh, pastor's talking about going, getting over things and, and, and getting over things and, and not, um, you know, holding on to the little stuff. So we call him the gadget man pastor. He brings all like gadgets to church. So what he was going to do was try to show how to get over things in life. So he had a trampoline and in front of the trampoline was a track hurdle. And he was going to jump on the trampoline, then go over the track hurdle to show how to get over things in life. So he ran to the trampoline. He jumped on the trampoline. The trampoline slipped. He went up in the air and hit the ground head first. Three million views later, it has gone viral on the internet. 
You can YouTube it. It's on Twitter. It's everywhere. That was my church. That was my pastor. And it was very funny. And we laughed about it. And uh, he's over it, but his body's probably not over it, though. That was incredible. Alondra looking to go coast to coast. Puts it up. And Crawford double dribble. You're not going to bone to pick with Edwin here. I see Edwin and with Wendy's. And, um, you know, got a little problem with that. Having a good old time with Wendy's and uh, has not even offered me a fry. Got a big problem with that. And we're going to... Um, I'm going to settle that problem after this game. Got a big problem with that. Maybe Edwin's corner, coach corner, may be canceled as of today. As I see him out in Wendy's and has not even offered me a fry. Edwin's coach corner may be canceled. Well, uh, well, I'm going to give him a chance to give me some reasoning after the game. If I don't like it, then uh, we'll see how this coaching corner segment goes. We'll just leave it at that. Moving on. 3.30 left in the game. 46-31. Traveling violation. Launches straight away three. No good. Offensive board, no. Offensive board again, yes. 13 point game. Just under three minutes left. Leo for three, no. I think it's put on the press here. Hey, 4.33 left. And we're going to get Edwin over here. This is, gonna, this is going down right now. We're, we're going to get Edwin over here. And we're going to get Edwin over. This is going down right now. We're going to confront him right now. We're going to make TV history. This is going down right now. Sanchez to the bucket. Misses it. Offensive board, no. Offensive board again. We're going we're to we're handle this right now. We're going to handle this right now. Um, I'm just saying, Edwin, I'm just saying this, okay? I'm a little upset at you what? because Edwin's coaching corner may be canceled. Uh, because you come here with Wendy's, you're eating over there, you don't <laughs> offer me one fry. You want it, some fries? No, I don't want a fry. You want some fries? Okay, drink? no, no, uh. no, no, okay? <laughs> I don't know about Edwin's coaching corner going forward now, okay? You got you to be nice to the media. Okay. So, I, I was being nice. I was going to bring them some fries. Like, hey, yeah, yeah. Look at the way you working Unbelievable. On. Unbelievable. You right? want some? Tra traitor, okay? You're giving it to your fans. <laughs> We're going to give me air time. You're a traitor. I don't They're know. They're hungry. They're hungry. For I'm not sure. We, Edwin's coaching corner might have to be suspended. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'm going to I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sleep on this one and figure this out. Okay? Uh, I, I don't right. know. I'm going to have to think about it. I'm going to have to think long and hard about it. All right. But anywho, you can go on with your little fries, with your fancy fries. You can move on along now. I'm going to take a fry. Thank you very much. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Edwin's coaching corner is back on. Yeah, that fry is delicious. All is well now. All is well. So Tigers, a really impressive victory here. Um, I'm really, I'm really happy for them. I mean, they've been working really hard. They deserve this victory. Um, good way to start off the new year. I, I think. Um, Listen, you know, I think Michaela's had a dynamite game. You know what's really funny is that Ari really 
She's been the scorer for the Tigers. She hasn't scored as much today, which I think is a good thing. Um, I think they're passing the ball a little more and having everyone get a chance um, to, you know, to see their offensive skills, and that's only going to make the team better. And with the addition of um, Sanchez, I mean, this, you know, I'm excited about, about the future for the Tigers here. Still a long way to go in the season, so Tigers definitely have a lot of a bright future ahead of them right here. Elbow jumper, no. So that's something that Juma needs to work on. She's had a lot of open shots and she hasn't been as accurate as she would want to. But um, once she gets, a, you know, works on her jump shot, I mean, she can, you know, she, she's definitely not afraid to shoot. She doesn't take bad shots. They're mostly wide open. Um, you know, she could be something special. 40 seconds left in the game. Tigers up by 13. So again, I just want to thank the crew doing a great job. Um, Carolina and Joanna, just the dream team right there. Uh, good job. By you guys. And um well, I'll give a shout out to John Hoffman. Doing a great job. The 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 legend of Lynn. I call him the the Howard Cosell of Lynn, John Hoffman. Phil Terrazoni, Don Hussey, the whole team over there. Free throws perfect. Eleven point game. Launches off the mark, goes out of bounds, and tackles with still keep possession. Timeout with 28 seconds left, 11 point game. After this game, I will be heading to Cambridge to see my alma mater, Broughton High School, face Cambridge Ridge and Latin, which is about 20 minutes away from here. So we're going to keep the basketball train going. As Broughton High is my second favorite high school. I mean, this is obviously number one in my heart. But I'm going to check out the alma mater. Fifty on the shot clock, twenty-three on the game clock. Tigers will win this game. I don't think they'll shoot here. Let's see. Bounce pass. Ari puts it up. No call. And ten seconds left. That about do it. Try to get one more shot in. Nope. Three seconds left. Two, one. Ball game. Check mate. Point match. Final score 46 35. Tigers win by 11. Great job by both teams, but Tigers come up on top. What a way to start the new year. Great job by everyone, for everyone here. I'm Nuberetto.